Great coach. Well, let's start with your thoughts on last weekend coming away. Came against probably all the points you wanted, but your kind of thoughts on both days. I think I could even go back to Saturday against Bemidji. Um, you know, I think we gave up 15 shots on Saturday night against Bemidji. Um, thought we played a very good game Friday night. Um, I think we gave up 20 shots, 22 shots. Uh, and then 13 shots in, in three periods of regulation hockey. They got five in overtime, so they finished with 18. But um, that, that's a recipe for success, you know. And, and you know, especially with with some guys being out, and and you know, you might not have as much firepower offensively because of the injuries. Um, we're going to have to to keep people, you know, in, in the low 20s, mid 20s, um, you know. And obviously, if we can have games where we keep them at 13. Um, you just it gives you a chance to win every night. And then, Coach, when we kind of look at the injury list going into this weekend, any updates on, on guys or who are back or who we may not see this weekend? Yeah, um, Messick's still out. Um, Colby Enza is still out. Um, some of the guys with the long injuries like Latch and Yepi and um, Grammer and, and, and those guys are out. Um, we're not going to have Schlein. Um, and that, you know, that's, that's obviously – big one um the hope is that you get rally funk back um so you know right now on the board there's there's eight guys that are out so hopefully funk comes back and makes it seven i think coach we've kind of talked about this all year but playing at home and now it's you know the last one before the playoffs is a good feeling to be at home for your last regular season game headed into the playoffs yeah for a lot of reasons um you know continuing to, to play well probably is important um but the travel in our league is tough and in, in, you know, so for Bowling Green, they're, you know, they're eight and a half, nine hours up. And then, you know, they could be another eight and a half, nine hours next weekend um, on the road. You know what I mean? So for us to be at home and, and, and actually we got home at a pretty decent time from Ferris last weekend because of five o'clock game. So we got home at two o'clock, I think in the morning, which is, you know, is much better than, 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. So I, I think a lot of the reasons it's nice to be at home, you know, and, and it being senior night, you know, like there's been, you know, these guys have 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 put a lot of effort and energy and blood, sweat, and tears. And, um, you know, even though Andre and Mike Van Hoonen aren't going to be recognized because it's their fifth year, you know, those guys have been in the championship game twice. Um, you know, the impact that, that Schlein's had, um, you know, Ryland Van Hoonen, four-year guy um, so you know hopefully that gives us a little extra oomph um, you know on Saturday night. I think coach when we kind of look at the standings right now there's a lot that can happen in this last weekend your guys' concentration and what do you guys have to go do Friday and Saturday to come away with six points? We, we just we got to you know like I said we got to continue to defend um, you know the the power plays got a little shifted um, you know because Colby's out and now Artem's out so and Messick's out. So, you know, those those got had to be adjusted a little bit. Um, I think you saw on, on Saturday we got the two power play goals on Friday and then Saturday, without you know some of those guys, it 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 probably let us down a little bit. Um, you know, we got to make sure we get that back on track, um, and and just like I said, continue to, to like today's practice is we have to we have to work on finding ways to to generate more goals. We're generating a, a, a plethora of chances. How do you now just can we help ourselves finish on those chances? And, um, you know, because on, on Saturday I thought, you know, we probably had, you know, you look at expected goals, you know, maybe it would have been four for us, you know, and then they ended up getting one. And then the goalie played good, no doubt. Um, but just how do we finish on our chances? And then, Coach, last one. Um, for a long time, Friday, Saturday, the standard has been 707, 607. Do you see more teams starting to move to that 707 and then 507 the following day just to help with travel? Yeah, I I, um, I think there's a fine line. I, I don't. I think five is probably the, the the earliest you can go because you start getting into four o'clock, and now there's the disparity of resources available to the home team and the away team. Um, you know, so you, you don't want to get you know too too up in the day, but I, I kind of like the five o'clock start. Um, for coaches, it's great because <laughs> all we do is sit around and wait after our meetings. Um, you know, the guys are napping and preparing and, and we've done all our work already. So, 
Um, I thought I, I liked it. 